Hey there folks, welcome back. Yeah, that's Crumb. Don't ask, he's being a big baby right now. But subject of the day, public school, which is a failure system anyways. You already know if you've been watching long enough how I feel about public school and how it works or doesn't work as the case may be. But it is a system that has failed even worse now. And today we'll be talking about one of those obvious problems. Before I get going here, I wanted to give a shout out to Ashley, to Eric, to Lori and Donnell, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I apologize if I'm not, who um, sent something to my P.O. box. I appreciate all of you very much for reaching out to me. It means a lot. What do you think? Does it mean a lot? Say hello. He doesn't care. Anyway, the, <laughs> the, the modern public school system and the whole issue with the current virus situation that we're dealing with and the fact that the schools are closed and they're doing this online. This is a system that is not working. I actually know a couple of people who are teachers in the Atlanta area, one in elementary, one in um, junior high school, and I think the elementary teacher said that she's been there almost five years and uh, the junior high teacher has been doing it for nearly 15, like 14 and a half years, I think she said. Both are females, most teachers are. You, but without even getting into that argument, most teachers, social workers, so on and so forth, are females. And that has its pitfalls as well, when only one type of person is presenting themselves as a role model. But they've been doing this for a long time, and they're having a lot of problems. They're having a lot of problems, and of course, you know, teachers who have been teachers long enough, they realize the system's a failure, and teachers who are newer, like the woman who's been in elementary for almost five, still kind of bought in, but the woman, and I'm not going to name anybody because I don't want to get them in trouble, but when you've been there long enough, you, you kind of realize that you're just kind of spinning your wheels. And the issue, of course, is with the logging in and the fact that the students are not doing it, not just in their classes, but period, in their schools, they're not logging in. Like roughly 50% of the students are not bothering. And I'm talking about, of course, Georgia. So if you're in another state and you've heard anything or seen anything, or maybe you work for the public school, feel free to chime in in the comments section. You've fallen asleep. He's fallen asleep. Or you're acting like it anyways. But... <laughs> If I keep the cat on here, maybe uh, maybe YouTube won't punish me for putting a video out. Anyways, like roughly half the students are not logging in every day. So if you have a class with 30 kids, you have somewhere between 14 to 16 of them logging in on a daily basis. And then the ones who do log in, what, you want to get down? All right, go on. Beat it. Nobody wants to talk to you anyway. <laughs> no, he, he's really... Uh, a friendly animal to me to everyone else he's a bastard but they're they're not logging in the ones who are logging in aren't paying attention they're sitting there they got the camera on you know lights are on nobody's home come on <laughs> this is turning into a different kind of show altogether here I should have locked them out of the room they uh, <laughs> you are just blowing it here it's a good thing I'm not reading a script. I wouldn't know where I was. But the, the ones who are logging in, they're not paying attention. They're sitting there doing something else. They're not paying attention. You call them out and they're like, huh? Or they leave the room so that the camera's on, nobody's there. They're, they're basically wasting their time doing this. And they're already difficult to manage. This is a, a point that they had made. The classes were already difficult enough to manage day to day because of a total lack of discipline. The kids already really kind of weren't learning anything anyways. They acknowledged this and now it's worse. Now it's going nowhere and they've issued more F's than ever. And I mean, literally more F's than ever. What I was told was, and I'll use the, uh, the woman who was in the junior high for an example, said, been there almost 15 years and in 2020, so far now I have issued more F's than I have in the last 14 years. Just in this one small time frame, I've issued more F's to students than I have in, in the whole, the last 14 years of service. And again, if you know anything about how public school works, it's harder to get an F than it is to get an A, the way that the system is set up right now, or the way it's been set up for the last couple of decades, really. It's absolutely shameful. Plus, on top of this, and this is something you may not have known, 
the teachers have had their salaries cut. Yeah, they've had their pay cut. They've had their pay cut even though the buildings are closed, so the, 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 the um, facilities aren't being utilized, so that's saving the schools money. And the schools are begging for more money because they need to uh, manage themselves during the pandemic and they need more money for their teachers and all this other stuff. It's the same spiel that they always throw out. We need more money for equipment. We need more money for this and that. They love throwing money at stuff. It's very political to throw money at stuff. It's really typical of government to create a problem. In this case, the school's being closed. There's a lot of other problems with public school, believe me, but like I said, this is the focus. You create a problem then you take people's tax money to fix it and then never actually fix the problem. It just lingers. And then when people come up and say, hey, what's going on with this? Why wasn't this taken care of? Why wasn't this handled? The explanation is, oh, we need more money. Isn't that how it always kind of works out? Isn't that usually how it always goes down? And you have no say in it because they're just going to take your tax money no matter what you say or what you think about it. If there is a vote, you'll be overridden. It's a, it's all a scam system. You're being scammed. Very typical of government. And just, just to make the point, the schools are not closed because of the virus, okay? They're closed because of the reaction to it. They're closed because of the reaction to the virus. People are not out of jobs because of the virus they're out of jobs because of the reaction to it, because of the rules and regulations that are being forced on us. Otherwise, people would keep going to work, wouldn't they? I mean, come on. Otherwise, you'd still be dumping your kid off at school, right? Um, and I, I got to say, you know, you think the modern generation now, older folks who remember how it was when we were kids, which was already bad, and looking at kids now and saying, God, what the hell happened? You think this generation is bad? Wait till you see how the next group acts in a few years. Just wait and see. Wait and see. You know, and I'd hate to say it, but the kids, they kind of belong back in school. Um, because parents don't parent. The schools don't manage the kids anyways, barely. But at least they keep them corralled somewhere so they're like off the street which is what public school was originally intended to do in the first place and I did a video on that some time ago explaining what the initial uh, purpose of public school in Western culture was for. It wasn't to educate the kids, it was to round them up because gangs of kids were running around all over the place doing whatever the hell they wanted because their parents were in factories all day, all day long or they were abandoned. The, uh, the, if you ever watched our gang comedies, you know, The Little Rascals, I used that as a reference last time. That's how it was with gangs of kids running around doing God knows what and half of them homeless. And they said, okay, we need to put an end to this because they're attacking people, they're setting fires, they're robbing stores, it's too much problems. Let's put them all in school. How do you convince people to put them in school? We'll give you a free education. Yay! But it didn't work. I mean, it worked for a little while. But as public schools more and more became uh, really a cesspool of political and social propaganda rather than teaching the kids anything that would be useful in life, it's gotten worse and worse. And you ended up with the generation you got now, which is a mess. But I, you know, I'm no fan of public school. If you can homeschool or put your kids in private, you're a hell of a lot better off if, if, it's, if you're able to do that. Public school... Ooh. <laughs> if you're not, especially if you're a parent who's not doing the job. If you're a parent who's not doing the job and your kid's in public school, that's a doomed kid, most likely. I mean, there'll be a few that'll pull through, but the majority of them will not. And here's your conspiracy theory moment. Would you like a conspiracy theory real quick? For those of you... He's still uh, snooping around. For those of you keeping track... <laughs> A society that is legitimately, legitimately out of control, okay? It is primed to, to get cracked down on by government. We're already kind of there. I mean, you got people running around rioting and protesting and tearing up and being awful, really awful about it. But 
if it's even further out of control, which is going to happen with these kids, then government would have no alternative. People will be begging them to go out there and deal with these people and make whatever laws they want. And they'll encourage the government to make up more laws and more regulations and take away more freedoms and do all of that so they can feel safe. And of course, you know, if you're giving up freedom for safety, you don't deserve either. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing, but you know who said that. Any thoughts? Any thoughts on the subject? <laughs> Any cat lovers out there? He kind of stole the show today. <laughs> Please feel free to post your thoughts in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. Probably the only way it'll get seen. I get hammered. I really do on uh, ScrewTube. For some reason, they don't like me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't show nudity. I don't swear. I don't tell you to hurt anybody. I don't get it. But free thought. I guess that must be the problem. The, uh, I, I'm anti-Orwellian, I guess. Um, if you wanted to help the channel out, if you wanted to reach out to me, there are links for that down below, including the P.O. box, which is where uh, Lori and Donnell sent a letter to, which I got today. So what more can I say but thanks for watching and stay tuned because there is more to come.